New at 5, a warning from Larimer County health officials after eight skunks test positive for rabies in and around Fort Collins. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson joining us now. Molly, it hasn't even been a month since the first case was reported. Officials already suspect it's throughout the county now? You know, it shows exactly why they're taking this so seriously. Now, in the first case, the skunk didn't come in contact with anything, but then two more rabid skunks were discovered near the Fort Collins Country Club. One had been killed by a pair of dogs. We all know they're stinky, but now there's more to worry about than just a bad smell. This is very new to Colorado and actually in the West. Until 2007, the reservoir that carried rabies were bats. And just since 2007, it's starting to be carried into the state by skunks. So far, eight skunks have tested positive for rabies in Larimer County in the last two weeks. This map shows where they were found, some in broad daylight, walking in circles, acting sick. Now that we have an animal on the ground that carries rabies, it can be infecting other animals very much more easily. Livestock, horses, cats who are left out, dogs who are running. Health officials warn now that it's here, it's here to stay. Skunks are on the ground, making it much easier to spread the infection to other animals. This YouTube video of a rabid skunk chasing a dog shows just how aggressive they can get. Of course, humans ultimately are at risk if their pets get this and bring it into the home. I haven't seen any for the whole ever since I've lived here. And that's a good thing. Skunks sleep during the day and should stay away from people, unless, of course, they're walking around with more than just a bad smell. And if you do see a skunk in the daylight or acting strangely, officials warn, don't go near it. Live in the newsroom, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.